Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to 10,000 and Below. This is a series where we're going through the lowest ranked games on Board Game Geek and taking a look at them. We're getting to the worst of the worst. It's on its way. So will we find any games today that I like in this bottom one? Well, it's possible. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here we have first the X-Files trivia game. I always take a look at the first one. The Game of Chips, I gave this a very, very bad ranking. Came out in 1999. Another Star Wars games. I'm always a little interested in Star Wars games. Marvel trivia game. Yeah, okay. I'd beat you at that. Maybe not, though, right? That's the kind of game that probably whoever is knows more about the subject wins. That's why those trivia games don't appeal to me. And six billion. All right, that's a good start. Let's take a look here. X Files trivia game. Again, it's just like another trivia style game. It's based on seasons one to three. You need a VCR. Oh man. All righty. Well, I guess enough. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> trivia is trivia. All right, the game of chips. That's right. This is from the people who made Sequence. And you, it's very similar to shut the box. You're just rolling dice and taking a chip. <sighs> Not even good components. I, I don't know. I, I feel like stuff like this is something that someone made to amuse themselves. Like, oh, let's, we have some chips, let's roll some dice. But why you would package it and sell it is beyond me. Well, making money. This one here is from Cosmos. So this looks like it's based on the cartoon series. That looks okay. I guess if you like this series, you would enjoy it. Actually, wait a minute. That's based on the movies. I wonder if that's an expansion or the same game. It looks like a very simple game anyway. Six billion. Board, not board games. So this combines the themes of exponential population growth with the colonization of the solar system. We have six billion. When was this game made? 1999. Hmm. That board both fascinates me and bores me at the same time. Ooh, never mind. Now I'm just bored. Nah. It's probably a game that's trying to teach something along the way, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but yeah, I don't think I'll be playing that one anytime soon. Coco Crazy Cubic. That's tic tac toe. 3D tic tac toe, apparently. Donkey Kong. Oh, we got to take a look at a Donkey Kong. Monopoly Spider-Man. Come on now. How many Monopolies are we going to run across as we go down here? Marriage material. I know I'm going to regret that. Ninjago, the board game. And Zombies, the card game. Well, that's interesting. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Coco Crazy. Six monkeys. You're going to throw the peek at a coconut, roll a die, and you're trying to have the right... This is a kid's game. This doesn't look bad for a kid's game. Memory. Silliness. Yeah, but kids' games get ranked low on Board Game Geek just because. All right, Cubic. Here we go. 3D Tic-Tac-Toe. I know for sure that at some point in my life I've seen this device, and I was like, ooh, that's really cool. Because it is really cool looking. Um, space, spaceliness? Oh, Space Lines. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was one word. Um, so it's the same thing really here. Tic-tac-toe four ways in a row is still going to be solvable, but it's better than tic-tac-toe. I like the one with the balls the best. Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. An IP-related game. That looks really bad art there. Can, that doesn't, I mean... When did this, oh, this must have come out when Donkey Kong first was out. Huh. Well, now I need to see when the game came out. Maybe it came out in the 70s. 1981. Okay. Well, that would explain it. I mean, look at Mario here. This is in the days before Super Mario showed up. This is just back when he was Mario, before he got Super. I enjoy that. But probably a bad game. All right, Marriage Material. 
the game of matrimonial evasion. So it's showing people who don't want to get married. This seems like an amazingly cool theme. You're breaking my heart. Are you whining? Oh, man. Why would one want to play this game? So you want to date but not get married. If you have too many commitments, you so to take that game about getting married. All right, Ninjago the board game. This is another one of the Lego games. Um, my kids watched Ninjago for a while. Man, these Lego games just do not, I, I, I did not realize how many there were until I started doing this series and how low rated most of them are. And that's what people's uh, predilection to like Lego games, right? People just love Lego. But uh, yeah, it is not, I guess not a very good game. Zombies, the card game. This says it re implements zombies. I'm assuming it's just a card game version. I wonder if the game is like compatible with zombies. We'll see if it says it here. Now, just going through the deck as fast as you can. Okay. I don't really care for zombies much, but I guess if you like it, you want to play a card game version of it. Galapagos. There's several games called that. Guess Where? That's a version of Guess Who, I'm assuming. Destruct 3. Monopoly Vintage Game Collection, Bad Bunnies. Oh, I want to look at this Dick Tracy game. And then Get Nifty, which I gave a four to. All righty, let's take a look at these. Galapagos, this one here is from White Goblin. Ah, the designer of this looks somewhat familiar. Okay, it's the same designer who did Radis and Oregon. Both very good games. So this looks like another game in that ilk. I'm not sure this one ever came out in English. I mean, maybe White Goblins made an English version of it. 2010. Hmm. Guess where? I'm assuming this is just guess who. Oh, no, it's not necessarily. It's you have these different people. and It almost looks like Battleship. You have to figure out where in the house each person has placed each family member. Is dad in the kitchen or is dad on the first floor? Huh. Well, that's, that just naturally sounds better than guess who. What do people have a problem with it then? A decent kid's logic game. I'm not sure why I like this one better than guess who. It seems like it would have more oomph to it than guess who. I'd play it. With my kids. Destruct 3, 2005. I remember when this first came out. And we, you, we, everyone came and looked at it. I think they had it at conventions. You're like, what is this? You roll a ball down a chute. You launch it on a thing. You swing it. And then you're just trying to break stuff in the middle. It's probably not a great game. But the act of destroying things, I think, have people happy. I would mess with this if I saw it. Monopoly Vintage Collection. This came out in 2005. I remember when this came out. They were selling in the stores like, ooh, do you want a game that looks old? But still Monopoly. You got it. I don't know why it's separate from Monopoly and Board Game Geek Database. Bad Bunnies. It's from Schmidt Spiel. This is, you have seven cards. You play one higher, lower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard of a version of this game. Yeah, you're just basically saying if your card's higher or lower than the last card. Not a yeah, odd artwork there. All right. The Dick Tracy game. I've always been a big fan of Dick Tracy. I know, I know, big shocker with his outfits. Um, but I think Dick Tracy's always amused me because of his cast of villains that he went up against. This just looks like a roll and move style game. Get Nifty, the Sluggy Freelance card game. So this came out in 2005 from Blood and Cardstock. Um, if I remember correctly, it's basically just a take that style game. Yep. 
and it's from the cartoon Sluggy Freelance, which most people probably haven't heard of, but if you like that cartoon, you might like the game more. All right, Battleship Command, Pirates of the Caribbean. Treasure Quest, they gave a 5-2. Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus Game. I want to take a look at that one just because that book has done so well with my son. And here's a game I gave a 7-2. Toss Your Cookies. Another Titanic game. The Inventors, that one is 321. Dead Ending, 166. Scrabble Apple. I'm very curious about that one. And ulcers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's take a look here. Battleship Command. Ooh, that actually... Well, that generally looks more interesting than Battleship. Doesn't that just look automatically cooler? Huh. So why does it have such low ratings? It looks like it's better than Battleship. A really fun version of Battleship. It's also a really long version of Battleship. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that one. Cards fall out, pegs fall out. Super fiddly, hard to play. Okay. Oh, you can memorize where the boats are. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, too bad, it sounds neat though. Treasure Quest, so this is an older game where you're placing cards to reveal treasure symbols. Oh yeah, has the holes cut in the cards. I like the concept. This is a, a, one of those mechanisms I want to like more, but doesn't always work well in games, and that's this one where you place the cards so they reveal things underneath. I think that's a neat idea. This one just wasn't that great. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. If you've never heard of this series, it's Don't Let the Pigeon do a whole bunch of things. This is probably the most famous of the books. My son really likes these uh, for us to read to him. So this doesn't look like a great game, but I've always enjoyed these stories. Toru Hasbro is a party game where you toss a chip to your left and then pick it up. So you shout Toru. Oh, so you're just passing until you get four chips of the same type. Well, I will also pass on this game. Toss your cookies. I like this one. Okay, so this is very similar to actually what we just talked about. First of all, great art here. I want to eat these cookies just looking at this. And milk, which is wild. But you're essentially switching with the middle until you have a set of seven. There's a lot of games like this. This one I thought worked really well with kids. The Inventors. Oh. See, this is one of those games that I find to be annoying because I wanted this game as a kid. I saw it at a thrift store and I saw this device right here. This is where the Dice Tower came from. Ooh. But I mean, really, this was such a cool thing to me. Uh, looking at this game, it just, I was like, oh, I gotta get it. My mom was like, it's too expensive. It was at the thrift store, I don't know, maybe it was like six bucks or something, you know, but too expensive for that game and we never ended up getting it. Or. I can't remember, or maybe I saved up my money and then went back and someone else had bought it or something. It doesn't look like a great game, but it's nostalgic for that reason. I really wanted to play this game as a kid. Dead End. This is a zombie style game with, wow, really bad art. That's terrible. Uh, zombie games need to look somewhat distinguishable from other ones. This one just looks very blah. Scrabble Apple? Oh. Oh my. Weird. So this seems to be, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems to be from Parker Brothers, and this looks like their version of, you know, Bananagrams. So Bananagrams, which is kind of ripping off Scrabble to begin with, now gets ripped off by them right back. Weird. Ulcers. All righty. Man, like movie, book, and TV shows, this one's just called Staff. <laughs> um, always have these groups of people and no one likes each other. Another old vintage game. When did this come out? This looks really old. 69. 
All righty, here we got, uh, let's see, golf, which is a public domain style game. Where in the USA is Carmen San Diego? Mr. Bill, a card game I gave this one a five, not too good. Halma, the seventh dwarf. Let's see here. Trivia Pursuit Steel Card Game. That just sounds awful from the name alone. Mental Floss Game. I really love the Mental Floss. Um, I Will Survive. Beer and Vikings. I gave this one a 2.5, which may be a little high from my end. Diggity Dog. Hot Dog. Hot Dog. We're looking at that one. Hot, and Dingo. Alrighty. So we'll start here with Golf. This is... Just playing with a standard 52-card deck. I don't think I've ever played this particular game. I've heard of it for sure. Not ranked very highly, but then again, it's a free game of sorts. It has memory involved. Where in the U.S. is Carmen San Diego? I'm assuming this is a little bit of a trivia, or maybe not. You're moving around the U.S. trying to... Oh, I like that map a lot. That's cool. Just in case, huh? Wait, is Carmen San Diego not the main bad guy? Oh, and her. Carmen San Diego is a good guy now, so it's confusing to me in, in the modern lexicon of Carmen San Diego. Mr. Bill, this is from DV Jochi, and Mayfair Games have made a bunch of card games. Most of them were not very good, unfortunately. And this is a speed style game? I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, well, we can actually, 16 years ago, we can read my thing. The German version of Old Maid, I called it. It's a nice idea, but too chaotic for me. Oh, well, there you go. Halma. This is a public domain style game, which is checkers, but on 256 squares. You know, there's always this idea of bigger is better. Well, how long did this come out? 1884. Oh, so it's not checkers. You're just trying to get your pawns to the opposing corner of the board. Seems very similar to Chinese checkers. The seventh dwarf. This re implements Zakin. Hmm. A dice game with a movie license. You need to line up the seven dice in order of size. And people will bet on your chances of success. Hmm. Huh. Trivia Pursuit Steel Card Game. Earn your wedges, but your opponent can steal your wedge. Ah! Like, Trivia Pursuit was already a game I didn't enjoy. Now people can steal your wedges? It sounds super fun. Mental Floss Game. So, Mental Floss, by the way, great magazine. I've always enjoyed the Mental Floss stuff because they give you really interesting trivia. But that's all this game was, is really interesting trivia. A game, not a good game. At first I was afraid I will survive. I like the name of this game. I like the pieces. Huh. But it doesn't seem to do very well here in the ratings. Shields and weapons. Beer and Vikings, this is just a take that style game with tons of uh, complexity compared to what the game should be, and it's just luck and oh, about drinking beer and having a Viking. Woohoo. They made a sequel to it, too. Um, does it say it here? I forget what the, this, it worked with. It worked with another game, but no, this game is awful. Diggity Dog. Uh, the mummy dog. There's a mummy dog? Oh, the mommy dog. <laughs> all righty. Uh, all right, it looks like a kid's game. But those are cute looking dogs with the bones. I like those. And then finally, Dingo. This looks like a simple card game. Everyone has five identical animal kit cards. Oh, there's another one where you're passing it out until you have one of each. And then you say Dingo. Oh, it's like the same game we've already seen here today. Alrighty, well, that's it for another 
10,000 below, folks. I hope you enjoy these. Uh, as we continue to go down the list, you might have noticed as we go through these that the rankings at the top of these pages have changed since I took snapshots of these in one month, but I will redo that at some point. We'll catch up, but this way we're not hopefully talking about the same games more than once. Either way, these games are obviously not that fantastic, but I hope you've been enjoying these. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching 10,000 and below on the Dice Tower.